Okay, today we're going to do conversions that are a little more complicated. And so the first one, the first example is 907,200 seconds equals how many days? So what you want to do is write out your number of seconds and you want to go from seconds to days. So you have to kind of think, how am I going to get there? So you're going to go from seconds and if seconds is in the numerator here, it has to be in the denominator here and then minutes. So there's 60 seconds in a minute and then you have minutes and you've not reached your destination yet because you're going for days. So now you're going to change minutes to hours and hours to days. And remember, whatever's in the numerator here has to go in the denominator here. Now you can do all that math. You can use your calculator in all honesty and make one continuous fraction out of this all the way across. Now in your numerator, you just got this number, 907,200 times one times one times one. In the denominator, these are multiplication symbols. So in the denominator, you've got 60 times 60 times 24, like this. This is what you can put in your calculator. And when you put that in your calculator, you get 10.5 days. So this is 10 and a half days. Let's go to the next problem. This is a problem that I did, I think probably from a student's homework, so I'm gonna skip that. They probably had a homework question. All right, this is example two. Now, what makes this harder is now I'm going between the English system and the metric system. So they are a little more complicated. Uh, the state will give you the conversion factor for these. So you're told that one pound is 0.45 kilograms. So you've got 175 pounds. And since pounds is in the numerator here, pounds needs to be in the denominator here. So you put 0.45 kilograms over one pound. You do that math, which is, if you were to put that in the calculator, you're doing 175 times 0.45, which is 78.75 kilograms. 2,800 centimeters equals 890 centimeters equals how many feet? You're told that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Now, you don't have a conversion factor that goes straight from centimeters to feet. So you have to just get there with the information you have. So we write our centimeters down. That means centimeters is in the denominator here, inches here. So one over 2.54 centimeters. Then I change my inches into feet because I, know a conversion factor that goes from inches to feet. So if inches is in the numerator here, inches in the denominator here. Now when I put this in my calculator, I'm going to put 2890 in the numerator and in the denominator I'm going to put 2.54 times 12 and then that gives me that answer of 94.8 feet. This one is a little harder. This is a very difficult problem, okay? You have got miles per gallon given to you, and you need to change that to kilometers per liter. So what you have to do first is take your miles and change it to kilometers. All right, so we're gonna take miles and change it to kilometers. Then we're gonna take gallons and change it to liters and then we're gonna put them together. That's the, the way that we're going. So you're gonna convert your numerator, convert your denominator, then put them together. That's the steps you're gonna use. All right, so we have 34 miles, and we know that there are 5,280 feet in a mile, because, and the reason we're using this one is because we have feet here. That's why. So we're taking the miles to feet first, and then we'll take the feet and put them into meters. And so this is what you have in your calculator, 34 times 5,280. And then in the denominator, you're dividing by 3.28. And that gives you 54,731.71 meters. But now you're not done. You have to go from meters 
two kilometers now. So now you take that little downright easy system that I taught you on day one, and if you can't remember, go back to day one of this unit and watch that video again. But we're going from meters to kilometers. So from meters to kilometers is three units up, three little loops up, so I've got to go three to the left. So that's how come I have these arrows drawn here, going to the left, so it's 54.73 kilometers. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to change my gallons to liters. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to write down one gallon. And since I have, if you know this, I have a conversion factor for quarts to liters. So I've got to go from gallons to quarts to liters. So we're going to, we're going to do that. We've got one gallon. There are four quarts per gallon. The gallons are going to cancel out. Then I take my quarts and I change that to liters. I use the conversion factor that was given. That gives me 3.784 liters. Now I put them together. I put the numerator, which was 54.73 kilometers, and I put the denominator, which was 3.784 liters, and I put that in my calculator using the fraction button and get equals, and the fraction button will give me this. So it's 14.46 kilometers Per liter. And that's how that's done. I know that's a complex problem. All right, we're going to do another one. We're going to go from 1,250 feet per second to miles per hour. So we're going to change the feet to miles first. So 1,250 feet, and you know there's 5,280 feet in a mile. So you use that conversion factor, numerator, denominator, remember. And then when we put that in the calculator, we get 0.24 miles. All right, then we're gonna go down and change our seconds to hours. One second, we have one second. That's what we have. It's gonna be kind of a really small number, but that's okay. So we get one second, one minute for 60 seconds, one hour for a minute. And look, these are canceling like they're supposed to, and we end up with hours. now. It's easier to leave this one as a fraction because it's such a small decimal that the calculator really doesn't calculate it well. So we're just gonna leave it as one over 3,600. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put into our calculator the numerator, which was 0.24 miles, which we got right here, okay? Because we're going miles per hour. That's how we know how to set it up. So 0.24 miles over the one, 1,300, I mean 1,000, 1 over 3,600. Now when you put your, put it in your calculator, you're gonna hit your fraction button. And then you can say divided by, well, hit your fraction button, put 0.24 in the numerator, then in the denominator, hit the fraction button again. When you scale down to the denominator, you need to hit the fraction button again and put this in there and that gives you 864 miles per hour. Thank you.